Rebellion. This is a uh, pay-per-view a little bit in the in the middle of the weeks between, uh, you know, whatever the fuck we're going on this faction shit right now. So we're just taking a little break here. There's no, um, the week's still going on. There's nothing didn't derail off the week or anything. It's just part of the thing. So, let's get cracking. The time has arrived. Now, these, I, I like these. I think I said this before, but I like, I like these fucking pay-per-views they did. I don't, I wasn't really a fan. I was not a fan. I wasn't really watching wrestling hardcore like this. But they had like, you know, they had um, these pay-per-views that happened in England and shit like that, and they, they, like in Europe and all the those, uh, you know, the countries that aren't the U.S. So I like that they did stuff like that. The Rebellion is a cool name to have a, for a pay-per-view. And I may, hey, I might even bring that back in 2K16. I don't know, but let's see who's in the back. Anyone in the back? No. Nope. All right, let's see what happens. What is my match here tonight? And who do I kill? Oh shit! So I thought, okay, so cool, cool. I can work with this. I can work with this. This is cool. The U.S. Championship's on the line. In a, in a, in a Fatal 4 match, it's Chris Jericho, Eddie Guerrero, Kane, and Edge take each other on. I do want to play this match and change the way things are going around here. As I play as Edge. I'm playing as Edge, but it does not mean I'm going to win this damn thing. Um, if anyone knows about Edge, or anyone knows about me, you should know Edge is one of my favorite superstars of all time. And I fucking love this guy to no end, man. Like, his speed, and it, it, the way, even the way he moves now, it, it felt so good playing this game back then. His edge, like, it was just amazing. He didn't have to change the model of his face or anything like that. He's just a simply amazing superstar, and I love the fuck out of him. This, even the, from everything to the spear and the spinning wheel kick, everything he's, do, he's done, everything he does in the game is just so fucking cool, man. Like, it just, it just, everything worked for Edge. Like, Edge had that moveset, Edge had the look, Edge had the gimmick, Edge had everything he needed at the time to be a fucking amazing. And I'm glad that he's become uh, uh, such a big superstar, like he's always supposed to be for such a long time, you know? Only that, he's Canadian, so he fucking, that's wrestling's in him. He's, he's this in him. If you're not wrestling or playing hockey or something of that sort, you're, you're not, or you're not a fan of it in, in, in Canada, you're not normal. Obviously that's not true, but it just sounds so right. Did he just kick me out of the air? That was amazing. Right now this is a fail forward match for the U.S. Championship. Chris, Chris Durko owning that championship, winning it over, I believe, Chris, uh, winning it over actually Kane and uh, Chris Benoit a few months ago, like maybe four or five months ago. I remember, I remember playing that match and I was just pissed because I was talking about Benoit and I was going to fucking just beat the hell. At a fucking Jericho and Kane, and then I found out like you can't break submissions. I was like, what kind of fucking like I know the game's old, but fuck. Like that was one thing that would really help out a lot or really change up the game a lot is if you could do that. Right now, ooh, Edge going for one of his older moves there. The buzz killer. Edge just fucking beating the hell out of everyone here. Edge setting up. Oh, Oh, and Guerrero with a fucking drop kick there. That was that was a very underrated drop kick at, at its time. Like I didn't like it. I never liked the way that it, the animation went. But then seeing the way that they land and they can like combo moves off of it is really fucking cool. Like, I never at this game altogether. I never really liked it when it came out, or not liked it when it came out. I didn't never really liked it. Like I remember playing Here Comes the Pain for the first time, and I, I got it late as fuck. I got I got this game late as. Fuck. Fuck, man, when I got this fucking... I, like... I think I had, like, two... Or a year or so more later. And that's before games were expensive as fuck. Or... And actually, they were they were 60. But I got it at GameStop. This is before I, like, subscribed to GameStop and all that shit. And, uh... The games were... The, the game was there. And I was like, man... It was, like, the last one. And somebody had to use it. I was like, yeah, we just put it on the shelf. I was like... Man, I'm gonna play this shit. So like, I was so happy when I got it. But I was playing Shut Your Mouth for so long. Like, this was a totally different game for me. Like, holy shit, this game was hard as fuck for me to play at first, man. Like, and I never used to reverse way back when. So I just knew how to like get out of shit. I take it. I would take damage or kick out of something or just take the beating. Or I was just really good that I could never get hit. So I was really good at just like swooping through and just avoiding shit because I never reversed for a, such a long time. So when I finally learned how to reverse, it was like um, I didn't even really, I didn't even learn to reverse until like 2006 is when I really started having to be forced to reverse, and 2007 is when I really started, like learned it. But yeah, it was so I went I went back and played this game, and I fucking owned this game because it was just so easy for me to play at this point. I said, "No, nope! execution, simple and easy." 
Going for the pin here on Kane. Two. Breaking it up though. Jericho can save that championship. Oh, form shot. Spinning wheel kick taking down Kane. Jericho now oh, gutting him like a fish with that knee. Snap mare, simple and easy. And now with Guerrero setting up. Lamai Stroll here. Lamai Stroll. Oh, we got fucking saved there by Jericho. Jericho fucking throwing that chair around. What the fuck, ref move, you bitch. That that chair back. Where'd he put it? Did he, te did he teleport it? What the fuck? Where's that goddamn chair, bitch. This could be how this could. See, this is why I don't like. I don't like this shit when this happens. Like, like fucking Chris Jericho could win right here. Simply off the fact. Oh, spear! This match is fucking crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of shit happening in this one. I like playing matches like this though, because I can I can really tell you guys little stories about myself or whatever. And I like to I like to tell, I like to talk a little bit. I don't like to do you know what I don't like? I don't like small talk. I don't like that fucking short shit. I don't. I can't stand it. It's it's, a, it's really below me. I don't like small talk. It really just makes me mad. It, it. I don't like doing it. So if I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk fucking paragraphs. I'm gonna fucking speak like I'm like I'm a, a commentator on a wrestling game because that's how I fucking talk. I can't. I don't know how people do it. Jerk has been the fuck out of me. Oh jeez. Yeah, small talk, I, I don't like it. I don't like fucking making all those fake conversations to fill a, a silent void. I'd rather have a silent void or awkward silence than try to make something up because it's awkward in the store or awkward or wherever you're at. I don't like that shit. Can't stand it. Grand opening, grand closing. Get out of the face. Jericho is being the fuck out of everyone here. Doing a good job, though, staying on everyone because he needs to keep that championship rip. If Kane, oh! Can get something going here. He just may, he just may have this one here. Be, being the biggest man in the ring, but but also you gotta think that uh, both the pin right here, right? Oh, but a rope break. So okay, this is a fail forward, but not a, hard, a hardcore fail forward. Right now. All of a sudden, the fucking rope breaks don't matter. Fucking great. Jericho setting up. Going for the execution again, but I do believe that fucking. I don't think it's. I think it's a leg move back and back and way back when. Oh, it's not. It's not though. It's not though. I can't make him tap. Fuck. Going for the. Oh, going for something. Man. It ain't happening now. Jericho's hurt. Can't want to end this one. No, you ain't, bitch. Jericho trying to steal it here on Kane, but he's fucking. Edge saw coming out. Ooh, right across the face. Spear. Uh oh. That move was so nasty way back when, man. That was a fucking nasty move. Like, that shit, it was devastatingly fucking ugly. Big time fucking DDT laying out fucking everyone here. And now Jericho could be still in here. Jericho could be still in it. No, Jericho, I mean, you can't kick out. <laughs> I can't make him tap. I want to burn my fucking calluses off. This is so hard to do. I don't know how, I don't know how people play submissions in this fucking game. They don't tap out. I mean, it's like a controller. I don't know what it is, but either way, it's not good. Jericho's trying to and, and, and kill Kane here. Uh oh, Guerrero's upset. Oh, my face! No, Tom, what are you doing, controller? Get out of here, boy. Oh, spear! Come on, Edge! Come on, Edge! Come on, Edge! Referee, two. Oh, fuck! You gotta get. Going for it all! Textbook execution! Woo! 
good night. Say good night to your flight. Oh, goodness. I gotta watch Kane. I gotta watch Kane. He's gonna beat my ass. Big boom. Taking edge right off his fucking face. Right off his face. He took his face off his face. That was nasty. This match is still going on, and now Kane's choking the hell out of everyone. I wish I could fall. Oh shit! I wish I could have tossed the fucking chair at him. I mean, I could, but I couldn't do it at that at that point in time. Let them play. Let, let them play on the outside. I ain't playing on the inside though. No, no, I don't want to do an execution. God damn it, controller! And Jericho has fucking submission like a motherfucker too. Fuck. And he's not even hurt yet either. He's still thing. Fucking rope break. I don't mean anything, I don't mean anything to me though. What do you mean though? Fuck! Kane's gonna kill him! Jericho with the save! Ah, get out of here Jericho, bitch! Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, the referee getting whacked too! This is crazy! That's gonna stop him, the fucking chair, no! <laughs> I've actually played with people who really know what the fuck they're doing. It's a never ending stop, it like it's it's crazy. Oh Go for the pin, please! Ah, oh, he kicked out, are you kidding me? He just took that shit and ate it. One, two, Fucking Kane! Ah. Oh, Jericho's here! Fuck! Oh! Edge going for the fucking uh, the electric chair! Forward! Fucking forward! Oh! Going for the submission there, but I did, but the fucking I don't know. I don't even know what to say anymore. This ha this this match is happening. This is a fucking this should be a main event right here. Go for the pin! Referee the fucking rope break! Ah shit! Should I go? I mean Edge! I got set up, but Edge getting out of it! Yeah, if I if I was playing this shit earlier, oh shit. Ah! Kane! No! Nope! I'll send for the for the fucking the the, the, the fucking ah. Get him Jericho. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Kane. This match is hype. No! Fucking Kane! Have on the outside, bitch. Ah, oh, fuck. Kane. Alright, he's good. Play that finisher. I was gonna say, fuck that. Kane, no! Shit, this might even match. Somebody's gonna win, and I'm gonna be upset if it's not me. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's just crazy! Ah, get out of my face! Ah! No, Kane, please! I don't have time for this shit, dude! Here we go! Execution! Set up with a pick! The pick! The pick! The pick! The number one pick! Edge with a victory here, ladies and gentlemen! Oh. I did it! I was so hyped. That match was hype as fuck, dude. This motherfucker's going hard as shit. Anyways, up next, Test Triple H and John Cena six-man tag team match against Rock, Lance Storm, and Austin. Holy shit, it's gonna be hype as fuck. What's up next? I don't know how this one's gonna end. Poorly. Oh shit, Rock's almost gonna pick my team head up. Anyway, this is a six-man tag team match between the men and the faction of... The corporation, being the Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Lance Storm, 
and Scott Steiner and as they take on Dangerous by Designs test Triple H and John Cena. The only difference, the thing is, who was the who was gonna be the fourth man in the on the team? On the team of fucking Dangerous by Design. We come we come to found out that it just may be the Undertaker. Undertaker from SmackDown doesn't use, not usually on a raw event, but right now I think they need all the help they can get. And you get you get someone like the Undertaker of all people to get things going. It just may have a great a great night here. You may have a, a great fucking month altogether, a great year. If you can get someone like Undertaker on your team against another very good team. I, like, as much as I may not like the corporation, the team is well put together. And you may not like guys like Lance Storm. You may think he's a mid card or a lower card, but the guy can go. One of the best one of the best Canadian wrestlers for sure. Very underrated for sure, but still doing big things here right now. And that's what he needs to do: is get himself uh, associated with a, a, a team. No, oh! at the corporation, get himself a little extra money. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Get himself a little extra pay when it comes to getting things done. Anyways, regardless of all that and all that and such, right now Rock's not in a good place. If he can get, if if Test can keep a Rock. On his on his team side, he just may have this one one before the thing even starts. But it doesn't mean that the other two are gonna not interfere at some point in this match. But Big Time Rush leg sweep, and this is the the opportunity now that Rock has, and Rock's not done by any means. Moving away from his tag team, moving away from the uh, tag team that's trying to kill him here. Uh, Triple H just Triple H test being the hell out of him, and we've seen Triple H and Test went together previously. Winning tag team championships, mind you. Now, fucking Triple H just chopping to the spinal cord over the rock. Look at this, the strength. Oh, right onto the knee. That's some fucking arcade shit for sure. If you do that shit now, you kill someone doing that shit. This match is hype as fuck. Because the Rock's still in it, like he's just still surviving. This is not a six-man elimination match. This is a six-man tag team match, and the first fall will be the last. This is the Rebellion's main event. We're here in the UK, Manchester, New England, and these two teams, oof, are the main event of tonight. We said in our, in our semi-main event, we just saw um, Edge, Eddie Guerrero, Kane, and Jericho. At the, as Jericho tried to keep his U.S. championship, what was thwarted as it was taken away by Edge. That won't be the last time you'll see the U.S. championship on the line in such an amazing, an amazing night. Oh, in an amazing match like that one. Right now, fucking Test is bringing it to Rock. Rock has tried to get on the outside there, but and he tried to get his tag team partners in, but it's just not allowing it to happen with Test. And that's why Test is so damn good. This is our main event, though. And I can only expect that Rock will find a way to get to his tag team partners and keep this match going a little bit longer. But right now, he's in so much trouble as Tess is keeping him. Tess is keeping him in that corner. And that's what these three guys need to do. These three guys need to stay on the Rock and just keep injuring this guy. Keep him down. If you can do that, you just will just may well have this thing in the bag. It looks like uh, uh, Triple H is going for that Indian Deathlock. One of his signature submissions that he doesn't really do too much, but when he locks it in, he really gets things going because he knows how to play, he knows how to play with his legs there for sure. He knows that locking those submissions is really good. Student of the game for sure. And now Triple H locking in that Indian Deathlock. But Rock has not gotten his injury, his legs injured by any means here, and he can probably fight fight himself out of this one. But that legs are feeling it for sure. Oh, oof, oof. You guys haven't seen my uh, 2K16 universe mod? I suggest to go. Please check that out. It's been crazy. We've been having a crazy amount of just great matches recently. Came off the pay-per-views of, uh, of yesteryear. Great uh, pay-per-views being brought back. Matches and matches and 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 not matches. Uh, great pay-per-view names and shit like that. I've been thinking of lately are just half from old video games. They're just really fucking good. Like I hope you guys the like the mayhem one that we had, I had recently. That was that was good. That was really good. Kinda. But not not even not, just the idea of the of 
mayhem and all that shit like that. It was just it was May and it was mayhem. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so fucking cool. It's just so fucking cool. I'm not gonna toot my own horn here or anything like that. I'm just saying it was pretty sick. Oh, setting up something, something big here. Setting up something big. Triple A setting up with a pedigree. It got all of it. They have the co-leader and the and the leader taking each other on here. Co-leader of Dangerous by Design, Triple H, and the leader, The Rock, still in this one, still still uh, hurting this one, but still trying to fight back like the match just started here. Look at this. Whoa! Big time indie spot there. That's an indie move as fuck. But the leg of The Rock saving him saving him in this one. Big time big boob, but I don't think he's safe there. This one's over. Referee. Two. Three, and this one's over. Wasting no time is to test them. I'm gonna get hype. Rock is hurt. Yes, there we go. The attacking starts now. I'm on top of the fucking world. Who's stopping me? Ain't gonna be you, Rock. Get on my face. Hype as fuck rebellion here tonight, but we're gonna continue on with these weeks because we got the Undertaker with us. He's not here tonight, but he will be he should be around probably next week. So we'll find out what happens up next next week. On WWE Raw. Rebellion though, this was a pretty cool pay-per-view.